Hello again. Right, well, this is just out of interest, really. This is a, a, a step-down power supply. It takes uh, 100 to 240 AC in, and output is 5 volts DC at 2 amps. So it's quite a useful power supply because quite a lot of gadgets and things now need quite a bit of current and at 5 volts. So this is useful for powering those sort of LED chains and things like that. But unfortunately this has stopped working. Um, so I thought instead of just throwing it out, I thought I might as well have a look inside it, see if either it's repairable or, or just to, to get an idea on, on how it works. Now just feeling across the paper it doesn't look like there's any screws which means unfortunately it's moulded shut and uh, I've just noticed on the side good old made in China sticker so this is probably where I'm going to hurt myself opening this because it feels fairly well stuck together actually uh, there doesn't feel like there's any give whatsoever in it which makes me think it's been hot glued or plastic welded shut Ooh. There's always a good cracking sound as the plastic gives way. Let's let's move on to a larger screwdriver. There we go. Okay. Might pop open a little bit easier than I was thinking. Yes, it's, it, it was glued shut though. Obviously weren't meant to get inside this. So, Ooh, now there's quite a lot to this. I didn't expect there'd be quite this amount of electronics inside. So the let's just go from the the mains pins. The earth pin does nothing at all. It's a metal pin. I don't know why they they made it metal then. Uh, and then the two live wires come into the circuit board there's one of these little glass exploding flute uh, fuses oh there's a, another one on the other side which looks like the uh, maybe on the output uh, I think that's a RF choke some quite beefy capacitors on there as well um, just And a transformer. Okay, so a little bit of foam packing and ooh, is that just what is that? It's like glue of some type, but it's... I think it was just to hold the foam on. That's really quite a complicated circuit board. I wasn't expecting that level of uh, complexity to be honest okay well I can't really see whether the fuses in it are good or bad so far the capacitors don't look like they've exploded there's no uh, singe marks or marks of anything that's gone bang Smell test is okay as well. Doesn't doesn't smell like it's gone pop. Wonder what's gone wrong with this. Oh, those are a little bit close for comfort. Connected. This is a dual layer circuit board, I believe. Very complicated. I, I can't for the life of me remember what this actually was used for, what its purpose was, but um, looking at this there's an awful lot to it 
Uh, now there are components missing from the board, which almost makes me think it's been manufactured to a slightly different budget to originally planned, or it's from something else. I'm just going to take this plastic protector off. Yeah, I'm not really sure why this failed. Let's just do the, the very simple test and let's test the two fuses out. So that's the, that's the easiest first test. I've got a feeling this one isn't going to uh, isn't going to get me anywhere. So just on simple continuity. Let's see what this fuse is like. Yeah, that fuse is good. And the one at the other end, that I think is on the live side. Yep, yeah, so the fuses haven't gone. Ooh, what a strange failure then. So let's just see if we can trace a little bit of the circuit here. So got a two live and neutral coming in. Going yep, straight through into the fuse. And from the fuse into where's that a bank of four diodes? Four diodes, yep. That's our bridge rectifier, isn't it? So if that's bridge rectifying there. So down to DC. What's all the rest of this for? It must be. It must simply to provide a smoothed power supply. But there's um, there's inductors and chokes, so it's a. Uh, it's making sure it's not making too much noise. But I've just spotted a chip. But it's covered in this horrible goop. And actually, I don't think it's got any numbers on it. I can't see any numbers anyway. Unless they're hidden under this extra pile of goop. Isn't going to come off by the looks of it. Yeah, um, I think this one might defeat me. Unfortunately, this one might be destined for the bin. Because it's an awful lot more complicated than I think it probably needs to be. Just to be a 5 volt 2 amp supply. Now obviously they've, they've taken a lot of time and care in making sure that the... the the output of this is smoothed. So it's a bit of a shame I can't remember what it was used for. But yes, I, I think that one's a, a lost project. So I think this one will be filed under don't know and let's send it to the bin.